Actually, not. Uh, You're not a finance man. No, no, sir, uh, I'm not. Normally, the construction cost is about 70 to 80 percent of the total selling price. 20 percent is the normal profit made by a developer. Are you aware of that? Um, I'm not so sure, Your Honor. All I'm saying is that if it was listed, if the listed price was 24 million, it was eventually sold for 14 million. The developer sold this at a huge loss. Are you aware of that? I wouldn't call it a huge loss, sir. Well, it's okay, so you're aware of, of the number. So what is, what is to you a huge loss, and what is the small loss? Well, uh, as the figures will show, sir, it's about 40% here. What figures? You haven't told us any figures. Are uh, you talking about the difference between 24 million and 14 million? Um, well... Yes, sir. If you, uh, th that's one way to look at it, sir. That's one way to look at it. You have yes, other sir. ways of looking at it. Well, because if uh, from a normal selling price of 24 million, and uh, we ended up selling it for 14.5, that's uh, that's uh, quite a reduction, sir. But uh, as I've mentioned earlier, there's a reason for this, and I was explaining it. Yes, and uh, we're trying to probe if that reason is valid. Now, that's why we're asking for photos, because in my experience, water damage is one of the least uh, that can happen to your property as far as damage is concerned. Yes. probably costs you just a, a, a coat of paint. Your Honor, if I, if I may also add, uh, I was saying earlier that on top of this, the unit was actually semi-bare at that stage. We were just about to finish it. We were going to complete it, and then some part of it, uh, parts of it were yeah. damaged. You are saying that the unit was semi-bare. That's Could you correct. please describe what semi-bare means? Well, um, it's not 100% uh, finished, Your Honor. Well, we you know were, that, but yes, I mean, sir. you know, what is missing? The um, electricals were in place. Yes, the electricals the were in place. The water pipes were in place. Yes, sir. Uh, the and did you not finish it? Before you handed it over to the new owner? No, sir. We did not, we did not have uh, the chance to do that, as I've mentioned. You mean to say the new owner moved in and did all the finishing himself? Well, we just turned it over to uh, the new owner, sir. And uh, Would you show us the dates on which the turnover was made, please? Pardon, sir? Show, us, show the court the date on which the turnover was made. I, I don't have it with me, sir. Yes. Uh, will you submit it to the court? Yes, sir. I will... Uh, uh, now, essentially, a developer will never turn over a unit that is not finished and not up to spec because the contracts would all reflect representations and warranties, particularly in a condominium building. So we doubt very much if you're being very accurate uh, this afternoon. In any case, my two minutes are up. Uh, Mr. Senate President, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, 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 Senator Recto, Senator Pangilinan, Senator Drilon, and Senator Villar, in that order, Mr. President. Senator Recto has the floor. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Senate President. Uh, Mr. President, I just have a few questions with the prosecution to better understand the case of the prosecution with regard to Proceed. the Sal N and the Bellagio property. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, am I correct to hear from the prosecution earlier that you agreed that the Chief Justice included the Bellagio property in the Salen? Yes. So it is found in the Salen? In 2010, meron pong nakalagay ron na dalawang condominium sa mm -hmm. City. Okay. So you're saying that is in number five, year acquired 2010, I suppose? Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Kung nandito, ano yung problema? Unang una, ang problema, ang nakalagay po lamang dyan ay anim na milyon mahigit. You, you are saying now, just to be specific about it, Mr. Senate President, under the issue of current fair market value, uh, on number five of the sal N of the Chief Justice, it says, Condo Tagig 2010 installment, assessed value 3496320, 
And then it says under the current fair market value, 6.8 million. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And you're saying that he should have? Well, unang una, ang selling price po ay 14 million, 14.5. Pangalawa po, mm -hmm. kung totoo ang sinasabi ng aming testigo, na yun ay reduced price, mm -hmm. at kinakailangan gumastos pa ang punong mm -hmm. maestrado ng mm -hmm. Korte Suprema, ng additional lelebang million, dapat mm -hmm. po ang value ng property is 14.5 as reflected in the deed of absolute chain mm -hmm. plus the 5 million okay. na gagamitin sa pagpapaayos ng penthouse. Kung papagawa. <coughs> Kung papagawa po. Okay. Mahabang ano yun eh. Anyway, you, so the problem is, what you're saying is that dapat linagay niya sa acquisition cost 14.5 million. million. Do you have a problem with the 6.8 million under current fair market value? Well, I think na malino naman po na kung ang current fair market value mm -hmm. is only 6.5 million, mm -hmm. no same person would mm -hmm. be selling the same property mm -hmm. whose market value is only 6.5. It would okay. be the seller would be selling it Mr. for 14.5 yes. million. Mr. Prosecutor, let <laughs> me invite your attention to exhibit LL. LL. This is the exhibit given by the prosecution. It says here in the certificate authorizing registration, uh, without this, you cannot register the property. Huh? In this registration, certificate authorizing registration, the selling price is here at 14.5 million, and I agree with you that the Chief Justice should have put it in the acquisition cost. But having said that, there is also an account here that says market zonal value, which is 6,827,000. Meaning to say, for purposes of real property tax payments, ito yung public document. May isa pang dokumento to eh. Ito for registration purposes, whichever is higher, that is the corresponding taxes that you pay so that you're issued a, a TCT or CCT. In this case, a CCT. Sa makatuwid, Hindi rin siya nagsinungaling when he put 6.8 million in the current fair market value. Dahil ito ay mga local ordinance na pinapasa sa schedule market of value, in this case in Tagig, ang cost or ang value ng property doon ay ganito lang ang halaga. Well, it is possible. Based on the public documents presented by ah, the prosecution. Ang, na uh, ang nice po namin ipakita ay malinaw na malinaw sa dokumento hmm na ang halaga ng binayad ni Chief Justice Corona ay 14.5 million. Mm -hmm. Kaya gusto po namin linawin, mm -hmm. base ba sa kanyang salen, mm -hmm. meron bang sufficient siyang cash para bilhin ang property na worth 14.5 million? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, again, no? I, I would suppose but at, at, at a future date, we will probably take a look at the salen are, has the prosecution showed any property not in the sal end at this point in time? Yes, Your Honor. How many? Seven properties in Marikina. So, but that has not been presented yet to the court? The register of deeds has already been presented. The cross-examination of the defense has not yet started. Okay. So, if at all, you would be saying now the two items, no? Para i Madali para maintindihan na rin natin dito sa korte at ng publiko eh. Sa ngayon, sa sal eh, ng, ng Chief Justice, lima ang property na nandito for 2010. Huh? Uh, total throughout his life, he had eight properties, it appears. No? You're saying that in 2010, he has not put seven properties in Marigina. Yes, Your Honor. So, yun ang hindi truthful ang declaration. Wala pa dito. Yes. And when we speak of truthful declaration, mm -hmm. it presupposes mm -hmm. that there should be a truthful statement in so far as the amount used Correct. for the purchase Correct. of the property is and, concerned. And the other allegation now would be, why did he not use the acquisition cost? Yes. That is the point, right? Of yes, Your Honor. Okay. At the appropriate time, I would like to reserve my right to ask questions of the of on the defense uh, at the appropriate time with regard to this, because we would still like to hear the defense. Now, uh, how would they defend this in the sound of the Chief Justice? No? But having said that, just a point of inquiry, uh, Mr. President, uh, maybe it is opportune now for me to ask, 
an inquiry of this court. Uh, my understanding is that based on the rules, there are eight articles of impeachment. It has been reported in the papers that the prosecution will present a hundred witnesses, and I would assure